Finally, a girl's night out ended tragically for a young mother who died after falling out of a party bus last night. The Kansas Highway Patrol says 26-year-old Jamie Frex fell onto I-35 and was hit by passing cars. Christina Medina spoke to Frex's family earlier today. Her family tells me they are devastated to hear the details of what happened, and now they want some answers, trying to figure out exactly what went wrong and why the 26-year-old never made it home. This is the accident caught on tape by the scout cameras. State troopers say Jamie Freaks was on a party bus Saturday night on Interstate 35 near the Southwest Boulevard exit. Somehow the emergency door flew open and Jamie fell out onto the interstate. Authorities say three cars ran over her and she died. Very concerning how there can be a reason to how that door came open. Why wasn't it secured? Cynthia Madison is Jamie's aunt. She said she can't believe what happened and she can't believe it happened to Jamie. Jamie was very full of life. She loved her family dearly. Her aunt says Saturday night was one of the 26 year old's first nights out after giving birth to a baby girl. She has a five week old baby. Very good mother. The Kansas Highway Patrol says while three cars hit Jamie, two drove off. The people that ran her over know they ran her over. They need to come forward. We're just, the family is just begging for them to come forward. <laughs> this wasn't fair to Jamie. There were 16 other people on the bus celebrating a bachelorette party. They were not injured. A person hires a person for safety to get you there and back home. Why wasn't she brought back home safe? The family says they still have so many questions. In KCK, Christina Medina, 41 Action News. The last time a fatal party bus accident occurred was back in 2006. It was on the way to a KUK State football game when a Shawnee, Kansas man was killed and another person was critically injured while standing on top of a double-decker party bus. The two men hit their heads as the bus traveled under an overpass. And we are learning much more tonight about the company involved in this fatal accident. Our Garrett Hake has been investigating for details in the newsroom. Amy, tonight we've learned from three sources familiar with the case that the bus company hired for this bachelorette party was Midnight Express, registered in Shawnee, Kansas. Now, you should be looking at the moment at the bus in question, a 1999 Ford Econoline E450, similar to what you might see at an airport shuttle. It's still in the Kansas Highway Patrol custody tonight. Now, at this hour, I'm continuing to dig through those records on this Kansas business. The Kansas business records show that the company was formed in 2010 by three area men who still own it. And the company was considered to be in good standing with the state of Kansas as recently as this February when its business license was renewed. We could find no outstanding if safety issues or complaints with this particular company, although we are continuing to look into how the bus was being operated last night. And the company offers to carry up to 18 passengers, and we do know from those Kansas Highway Patrol records last night they were just under that with 16 passengers on board. Now, we've made multiple efforts to contact the three men listed as owners of this bus company, and so far they've not returned our calls and emails. These buses are regulated by a patchwork of state and, uh, and federal authorities. We're continuing to reach out to them, looking into these records a little bit further. As we get more information, we'll bring it all to you on our website at KSHB.com. Live in the newsroom, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.